video on how to pass date parameters to a report viewer. Uh, on this video I will show you how to pass dates, values, and I will be using C sharp and I'll be using uh, a data set with tables and adapters, RDLC files, two list box controls to hold the dates, and this is how it looks. In the previous example or video how to uh, I did show you how to use the one parameter and getting the values and this is how it works it's working nicely uh, now in this video I'll be passing two dates parameters so let's see it I have a basic information here from uh, Microsoft uh, I think it's advanced uh, let me see it's database adventure works that's the, you can download it for free but the idea is that you pick two dates 1 1 2004 and 1 8 the ship date and you run your report based on those two dates now this must be must be equal to true if not you know you your SQL won't return anything but you can see it worked really nicely if you pick another date and run it it should do the same thing now if I pick a different ship date if it's not true then we, sh we should have an empty result like that so let's see the code on this example uh, the first thing you guys need to do is work on your data set this is the key to make it work. Um, let me show you. Uh, on the left side, I basic basically have the first uh, sample. So this guy. But let's see the the one with two parameters. I got the list box here, two, and a button and the report viewer. Uh, before you do this, you should work on the data set, like I said, and create this um, adapter with a table to fill your order date and your ship date for this. And we're going to use this one to populate the order date and the ship date. This is how I did it. In the page log event, I created uh, this quick way of doing it. Uh, first, I declared an adapter for that uh, table, and in a table itself from this data set, I basically fulfill it and then pass the data source, you know, the value in the text field and the data member and then finally bind it so I only need to fulfill uh, my table once and then I can use it for my two list boxes that I have then the next step go back to the data set is to create a data set uh, with two pa pa parameters the order date and a chip date and here's the SQL As you can see, I'm converting the order date so I don't get any time, uh, minutes, and seconds, and all that. I don't need it. And just basic information. Uh, in here, we do order date equals uh, the order date and ship date equals. So this must be true for it to work correctly. Uh, you can change it to do greater or equal to but on this example we're gonna leave it like that so when you finish you get an adapter that requires uh, two values and you can preview the data here you can type one that thousand four the other one eight two thousand four and preview it as you can see 
that's all you have to do close it and then once you have these two guys ready then you go back and add a report RDLC report all you have to do is add it go to your data sources and just drop a control first the data control I mean the table control then just drag your fields your columns right into here then you do all your formatting once that is done you go back to your page right here to your control report viewer control and from the drop down here you choose what report you want to bind to once you select your RDL file uh, Visual Studio will generate this object data source that's all you have to do nothing else uh, let's check this one uh, as you can see here the first line of code I'm just checking making sure that the drop down or the list box has a value I don't want to continue uh, if nothing was selected so you can see both list boxes has to be selected once they're selected I make the report viewer uh, visible uh, on the page low I made it false so it's the user won't see it uh, then I do the same thing as previously create a data table and an adapter for this one for this one and that's all that's only for this one the adapter I created and the table that's all that I'm this code does a table and adapter then I create a variable name o date for order date and s for ship date and I get the values selected by the user and I have to convert it into a data time type if not it won't the this function won't work um, the data adapter requires uh, go back once you do this it will ask you what you what you need to pass um, passing a table called table 2 and for order date I'm passing O date and I'm passing S date once I've done that you create a report data source and you pass uh, your data source which is data set 1 that's this data set 1 underscore sales order header 1 right here sales order header 1 that's what it requires after that you pass your table with all the data that you just got from this adapter then you clear your report viewer the report view adds the new data source called RDS from here and then you refresh and that's all uh, in the button event all I did was just call this function over here this one just calling this one and that's all it takes to pass two parameters to the report viewer the data set is the key if you need to pass different uh, variables or uh, parameters this is where you do it the key is in the SQL here one note that I need to make is that in the report uh, you don't need to do anything in here see how it says report parameters you shouldn't need none of this because we're basically 
uh, filtering the data and populating the data based on this data set. I hope this uh, video was helpful and can help you learn more about uh, C Sharp and uh, the report viewer and more about uh, ADL.net and this data set. If you have any questions uh, or other requests, you can send me an email to v p a c h e c o 99 at gmail.com. Thank you for watching.